Usenet is an early internet network, and in some ways was the precursor to the World Wide Web, the most common way we use the internet today. An abbreviation of Usersnet, Usenet was one of the first systems to advance the popularity of the internet due to its suitability for personal use. As opposed to the World Wide Web's web pages, Usenet accesses newsgroups. Initially, these were simple text-based forums, which were subsequently arranged into hierarchies, grouping discussions into relevant areas such as humanities, computers, and science. Newsgroups are accessed via news readers, applications that are comparative to web browsers. The big eight hierarchies once dominated Usenet, which are centrally managed and moderated, now by the Big 8 Management Board. These discussion platforms have, however, become increasingly irrelevant since the advent of the World Wide Web, fittingly first introduced on a Usenet newsgroup, due to its offering of more diverse and complex platforms. While the old newsgroup hierarchy still exists in function, Usenet's largest hier hierarchy by far is now the alternative hierarchy. The alternative hierarchy was created out of a desire to decentralise control of Usenet. Newsgroups continue as discussion forums under the alternative banner, but the introduction of binary coding to Usenet was the game changer. The shift away from text documents allowed complex files to be uploaded due to Usenet's low profile and privacy. The alternative hierarchy became a major facilitator of illicit online activity, from child pornography to copyright infringement. Usenet offers internet pirates numerous advantages over torrents. Due to the increasing irrelevance of Usenet and the more recent legal ramifications, most ISPs do not give access to Usenet. This means Usenet service providers, accessible via your web browser, are the most common means of accessing Usenet. The decentralized nature of Usenet means all of your downloads from the alternative hierarchy are directly from your service provider, making for a speedy download. More importantly though, providers encrypt your downloads and do not log what you are downloading. Your ISP might notice heavy data usage, but would not know what for. This is juxtaposed to torrenting, which seeds torrents and assembles torrent data from other users. This peer-to-peer -peer network allows users to trace your IP address, potentially reporting you to your I SP. This layer of protection potentially shields downloaders from a direct copyright infringement, which remains a distinct possibility following Dallas Buyers Club and IINet Limited. In regards to copyright authorization, it is difficult to draw an analogy between ISPs and Usenet providers. The mechanics of Usenet providers encrypted direct downloading, as opposed to a peer to peer system, makes it much more difficult to trace illicit downloads. This makes information of credible past infringements nigh impossible, limiting the likelihood of a case like Roadshow Films and IINet arising. In the US, ISP providers that still provide access to Usenet attempt to avoid liability by blocking newsgroups under the alt.binaries banner. Usenet provider Giga News has, however, recently been cleared of any vicarious liability for copyright infringement under Sony's Substantial Non-Infringing Uses Doctrine. Thank you for listening. I hope that was helpful. If you have any queries, questions, suggestions, or if you want to point out any inaccuracies, please mention in the discussion forum. Thank you.